Behind bars for bruises found on her mentally challenged son. Today, the victim's stepbrother learned his fate for staying silent while the abuse happened. But his sentence will not include jail time. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Prosecutors say Ryan Smith was sorry for not speaking up. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kim Foley is at the Pottawatomie County Courthouse with the story tonight. Kim? Well, Jen and Craig, Ryan Smith is now the second person in his family to be convicted of a crime stemming from the abuse and torture of his mentally challenged stepbrother. But if he stays out of trouble, he will not go to jail. Keeping quiet is the crime 23-year-old Ryan Smith is paying for. Well, that's something that Ryan has to live with for the rest of his life now. He knows and he has seen the injuries that Josh sustained, and that's something that he has to live with now, that he didn't come forward sooner, knowing that he could have, he could have stopped this, and he could have stopped the worst abuse to Josh. Smith's mentally challenged stepbrother, Josh, was burned, tortured, and chained up in the family's garage. Crimes his mother, Rebecca Beyer, was convicted of earlier this month. Smith was charged with kidnapping in this case, but reached a deal with prosecutors. He pleaded guilty to accessory after the fact. The underlying crime he was an accessory to neglect of a dependent person. Ryan came into our office um, after that plea deal. We gave him one last chance to confirm for us um, what had happened in that house. He did. He confirmed about 90% of uh, what Josh had told us had happened. Prosecutors say Smith was sorry for not speaking up and took responsibility for his actions. Smith was sentenced to two years probation, 180-day suspended jail sentence, and a $625 fine. He didn't get off scot-free either. He does have a conviction on his record. He was not given a deferred judgment in this case, and so he at least at any point in the future is going to have to explain that to anybody that he, you know, is um, interviewed by or wants to have a job with. Rebecca Beyer is set to be sentenced in June. Her husband, James Beyer, is also facing first-degree kidnapping. His trial will begin later this summer. Reporting live in Council Bluffs, Kim Foley, KMTV Action 3 News.